Alright, what is going on guys here? My name is Exposure Man, and today we're going to be teaching you guys how to win more Hunger Games. Now most of you probably play Hunger Games, it's a really fun game mode, but it's kind of hard to win. There's 24 people usually competing in an arena, and only one becomes the successor. And you guys might not have ever won a Hunger Games, but today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to win them. And the t tricks of the trade, you know, how Beijing Canadian, how all those really big YouTubers win their Hunger Games. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so the first thing you're going to need to do is learn to rush the cornucopia. Now, rushing the cornucopia can be a kind of hard thing and you guys might not like to do it, but you do have to do it. You can get some good loots out of there. What a trick or a trait to do is definitely you're going to need to pick a chest you want, a specific chest, and then go rush that. As you can see, I picked my chest and I just quickly got out of there. So all you need to do is pick your chest, go get it, and then get right out of there. The next thing to keep in mind is if you actually happen to get a bad jump, get out of there. As you can see, I get a really bad jump here and everyone gets ahead of me, so all I decide to do is get out of there. I don't care about any other chests I might see, I just want to get out of there because you can get picked off. The last and final thing about rushing is if you actually happen to have any kind of altercations in your way. As you can see this wooden stick right there is right in the way of me going to the cornucopia. So I decide I'm just going to book it out of there. There's no reason to actually try for the cornucopia if you don't have a good advantage to get there. So just go on out there, go find other chests and be on your way. Alright so the next thing we're going to learn about is map knowledge. Being able to know the maps you're playing on is very critical to help you winning your Hunger Games. You can give a little bit to get a lot. As you can see, I totally pass up this chest right here in order to go to a place where I know has a lot more chests and a lot better loots. I'm trying to get there the fastest, trying to beat out anyone I can, and trying to get there fast as possible. Uh, there's some people that do beat me, but overall I get there pretty fast and I get to see all these chests and all those loots. The next thing you're going to need to know about map knowledge is be able to get a high ground. The higher the ground you get, the better vantage points you get and the more things you see, whether it be enemies or loots. Okay, so this to me is what makes a bad player a good player. And this is a player that uses their resources. I'm going to teach you how you can use your resources to help better your game in Hunger Games. Alright, so as you can see, I have some fish right here, and I decide, hey, I see some oscillates. I'm going to use these and get one to get tamed so they can help back me up in a fight if I ever were to get in one. That's using your resources to your advantage. Um, the next situation right here is I go over and see this chest. Now I go over and I see it is empty. I keep going in the direction in which uh, it was emptied, or I see the chest, but then I realize, hey, Oh yeah, that, that, that chest is empty, so that must mean that that person probably went that way. And that means that any, most likely any other chest over that direction is also going to be empty. The next thing we're going to be talking about is high risk might not mean high reward. And what I'm trying to say here is sometimes if you overextend to try to get something, it might not turn out to be in your favor. As you can see, I'm trying as hard as I can to get to the top of this. I'm wasting a lot of hunger, I'm wasting a lot of time, and I'm potentially getting myself into a bad situation, all just to get this um, hopeful chest. So I go up here, and I drop down, I finally was able to get up there, and um, you'll see what happens right quick. There are no chests on top of here, so there really wasn't a high reward situation to that. The next situation is I am walking all the way up this big pyramid all the way just to get to that chest right there as you can see and I'm wasting over three hunger. Three hunger is really big in hunger games so don't overextend it can lead to death. Alright, so the final thing you're going to need to learn is the friend system. If you have any friends that play Hunger Games, I suggest having them play with you as they give you a better odds of survival. As you can see, I'm going to go over and find my, my boy Duraku dude. We're going to have peace with each other. That is the standard thing to do, is to wave your sword like that and ask for team. If they do, then go ahead and accept it because having a friend gets you through many bad situations say you lose health say you need some armor say you get in a bad situation where another guy's attacking you they have your back 
as you can see in this clip right here I fall and I lose some health and I ask for some food see if he can give it to me and he does maybe you won't have that in a solo situation that's why you want someone like a friend to come and help you out the next situation you'll see right here we go ahead and trade stuff with each other now you can trade anything from iron to you know armor to swords with each other I give him some iron he gives me a golden apple I get the better end of the trade it works out but there is a flaw with the friend system some friends can betray you alright guys thanks for watching the video I really hope you got something out of this I really wanted to help any of you who might be struggling in Hunger Games to get on your feet and get out there and get, become a good Minecraft Hunger Gamer PvP or slash X Buzzer Man Army dude. Um, if you really like this video, please drop it a like and please go over and check out my channel. Maybe give it a subscribe button. Uh, I don't really care if you do subscribe or not. I just would like for you to check out my channel. I got a lot of cool how to's and hopefully you guys will like my content. Thanks for watching and uh, later.